what is up guys so got some updates um as you guys know what's been going on here in in you know southwest florida the west coast of florida um we've had some pretty horrific weather um hurricane ian's come through really mess up the place it's what the 15th of october yeah because everyone was making those trendy tiktoks you know yesterday oh the 14th of october anyway anyways anyways um i know i haven't posted in a little bit um day before the hurricane i was filming and some things happened so i had to cut that video short and then i tried to film but it's just it's been hard i've been doing some fishing here and there and it's just been you know i just haven't had the urge to put my camera on my chest and go out and film um sorry i'm looking at cars driving by um i'll give you guys the updates so uh, as anyone who follows me on social media knows on my Instagram or if you're personal with me on my Facebook, um, I am no longer at Big Boys Bait and Tackle. Um, it just, it just ended good terms and set up and we ended up just going different ways. Um, it is what it is. There's just moving forward from that. It does not mean it's going to change anything on filming or anything fishing's just kind of kind of been put on the back burner honestly the last last few weeks um so don't take it as i'm not making videos it's just it's really hard to make videos right now um i've been doing a lot been helping out with supplies for the island as a lot of people have seen or if you guys are new to the channel you know you know, I've, I, we fished a lot of islands here, all this other stuff, saltwater, freshwater. There's these freshwater canals are loaded down with debris. There's there's bridges that were missing when the storm was over. So, I mean, it's it's been hard here for the southwest Florida area. So, uh, leaving off where we were just at, uh, no longer at Big Boys. Still great group of guys there. If you guys need anything, southwest Florida. Uh, Big Boys is one of the larger stores that are going to be carrying a lot more gear, a lot more things you may need. Definitely go by, check out them. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, so for after the storm, up until about this this first week of like, what was it? Uh, like the 10th, 11th, and 12th, I was pretty much unemployed, just helping out the community where I could, checking on homes. As soon as the storm was over, Thursday morning, as soon as the sun was up, I went and checked on people, helped people, pulled trees, pulled fences, helped people get untrapped. Uh, it was it was eventful. Um, really was. Uh, it was a lot of people, you know, they've seen the post time and time again. This was almost like, you know, September 12th, 2001, just at a smaller scale. Um, if you guys don't get that, you know, 9-11 was 9-11, September 11th. You know, this was, you know, it brought a tear to my eye to wake up that morning, get out in my truck. Cape Coral, this entire area was completely out of power. Um, Fort Myers was down. The beaches were just, the Fort Myers beach was destroyed. I'll show some photos here at the end. But... It was just, it was hard to fish. It really was. It was hard to get out there and do things. It was hard to get out there and do really anything. There was no power. There was no nothing. There was no way to upload things. There was, it was hard enough to try to get videos out because the signal was down. There wasn't a tower standing. Um, we got hit pretty hard. This may be one of the worst natural disasters that Florida ever has seen. Um, but yeah, so we started doing that. I started doing some demo work. Been working last few days just helping with homes that had water damage stuff like that um probably getting back into the automotive field but that's going to give me my weekends to fish stuff like that so i can make more content for you guys uh, i'm not giving up on this this is something that i've wanted to do for a while even though i may only have 100 subscribers uh, that's 100 people who were interested enough to press follow and subscribe and get in here and watch me struggle to catch fish and i appreciate that uh, this is still something I want to keep building and stuff like that. Um, sorry, I'm, I'm I'm just looking off at what the debris is. You know, I'm still, it's, this kind of stuff still isn't said. And this is, you know, the storm hit earlier in the month. 
we're two weeks into this there's still we're still dealing with debris we're still dealing with clutter there's still homes that are damaged tarps on roofs you know thankfully we have power back but you know it's just one of those things that you know this is going to affect our area for years to come we still have not rebuilt i mean there's there's places that still don't have power people who still haven't been able to get to their homes so it's it's crazy but this is what i have to say this channel is going to continue um we may be a little slow on posting i have a video that i'm going to be working on probably tomorrow or next weekend and we're going to you know get some more fun creative things because fishing here is chained there is no hang on i dirtied this camera oh no flipped it around oh, there's a beautiful uh sun but uh we got some cool stuff got that in the truck we're gonna be shooting a more fun video but um fishing's changed uh the passes are different saltwater fishing is way different I'm, it's gonna take me weeks months to figure out saltwater fishing um piers that i fish beaches that i fish are gone um there's a lot of debris but freshwater wise we're going into fall so top water season stuff fun stuff like that hopefully going to see some really cool stuff along those lines fishing freshwater so biggest thing i have to say is uh this channel will go on uh it's gonna be a little bit more difficult but as i always say you know get out there Hook into your next memory, but more importantly right now, enjoy the little things, because stuff like this can change those little things very quick. You guys have fun. See you next time. Honestly, I think the hardest thing about Ian was waking up Thursday morning and seeing the destruction and the damage. But what gave us hope the most was when we saw everyone coming to our aid, the linemen, the military, the first responders, the community loading up on boats heading out trying to help, the ones clearing the streets, the ones who sifting through the damage looking for survivors. Really changed who we are here in Southwest Florida.